So up until this point we've looked solely at uh, deflections um, within the elastic range. Um, so the question is, you know, what are our deflections going to be at collapse? Um, so this can be answered using a, a simple um, cantilever with the point load at the end uh, shown here. And uh, this member will have uh, some moment curvature behavior uh, shown on the right. Um, so we can find our uh, elastic moment diagram where we have uh, PL on the end and uh, from this we can find our elastic deformations uh, delta equals P L to the third over 3 EI. Uh, so what's going to happen after um, after we reach yielding, after PL reaches MY, um, is we're going to have uh, yielding and we're going to get uh, some rotation at the end. Um, so what, I guess we can uh, equate this to curvature. So we'll have an elastic curvature and this is just going to look like our moment diagram with uh, PY, and then we'll also have a, a plastic curvature. And this will cause a plastic rotation. And what's going to happen is over some length, which we'll call LP, uh, we'll call this a plastic hinge length. Um, our curvature is going to increase to uh, the ultimate curvature. Uh, so our total curvature would just look something like this. So uh, we can then find our deflections. So our deflections are then equal to the double integral of m over ei dx, which is just uh, equal to uh, the integral evaluated of the curvature. Um, so we can, you know, use whatever method we want. Uh, I'll use uh, the moment area method. So our deflection is then equal to phi y times L over 2, which is the area under our elastic diagram, times the distance from the end to the centroid of that triangle, 2 thirds L, plus phi ultimate minus phi y times LP times L minus LP over 2. And this is just the area of this times the distance from the centroid to the end. Okay, so then further simple, or we can define uh, theta P uh, which will be our plastic rotation, and this will be equal to phi u minus phi y times LP. So then substituting in, we'll get delta equals P L to the third over 3 EI plus theta P times L minus LP over 2. So assuming that LP is small relative to L, we'll see that our delta is equal to just our, our uh, delta elastic plus theta P times out.